Hi friends, hi family. I'm standing here in front of PowerFit Boxing. You come here and you use boxing to help yourself uh, get, in, get in shape and get fit. And I assume that you could probably use it for self-defense, but when I come back, I'm gonna tell you what I use for self-defense. Hey. Oh, rock and cheek, rock Hello there. Okay, since the little incident that happened on the the hike and bike trail here a couple of weeks ago, where the guy uh, made me believe that he's going to take my camera away from me. After that happened, I had several people ask me, you know, about pepper spray. So I went on the search and I, I couldn't, I, I, some people told me at different places to go to find pepper spray here in Cuenca. I couldn't find them. I, I found the places, but I couldn't, they were all out. Everybody kept telling me they were out. Well, I stumbled across a place and I have their card in my pocket here. And I'm going to put all this information in the description. It's a company here called Wilsport Equipment. Wilson Laagno La is the proprietor. They sell all kinds of uh, sporting goods stores, self-defense stuff. They sell pepper spray. They sell uh, knives. They they sell uh, rod and reels. That's kind of what caught my attention when I saw the rod and reels in the window and all kinds of outdoor gear that you use for camping and all that kind of stuff. But more importantly, they had this. And I'm here to show it to you today. If I can get it out of the case, I hope I never have to get this out in a hurry. This right here, American style NATO super paralyscent. There it is right there. This is pepper spray, my friends. I'm not going to try it out. Uh, it has a little safety thing on the top here that you flip up and you put your finger into there and you press down on it or you use your thumb in it like that. This cost me six bucks. This was six dollars and this little case here was five dollars. You just put the, you know, keep the case in there and, and you can, I think what I'd like to do is instead of having this clip like this, is have Velcro. Just have a piece of Velcro put here. I can probably find somebody here to do it for me, right, right there. But as it is, you have to have it snapped in like that, you know. And if you're out and about and you're wearing a jacket like we mostly, like we do a lot here, then you, you just keep it in your pocket, you know. I want to tell you a little short story about pepper spray, okay. Years ago, when I was living in Arizona, I got in, I had pepper spray. I had a little thing that looked like a pen of pepper spray. Uh, I was all into self-defense. I had guns and all this kind of crazy stuff back in those days and I, I had my pepper spray. I got involved in a road rage incident where the guy stopped in front of me, got out and at a light. I had nowhere to go, I had cars behind me and he came back and approached me and he was yelling at me in my window and scared me to death. And I cracked the window down a little bit so I could hear what he's saying. And he started using his fist to pound on my window cursing me and all this stuff, threatening to kill me and all this kind of good stuff. And I thought, well, I'll just show him. I'll pepper spray him. So I went to pepper spray him through the opening in the window and I missed the opening in the window. I actually hit the top part of the, right above the window and I actually sprayed my window, which by the way, pretty much came back on me. So I'm here to tell you, pepper spray works. It could completely disable you and in a very short time. I don't recommend spraying yourself with it, okay? The worst part about that whole story was afterwards when somebody, the bystanders, you know, were trying to help me out because there was absolutely nothing I could do. I couldn't see, I couldn't drive or anything, but the worst part was them telling me about this jerk off uh, laughing, you know. He, 
once he saw me, I may have gotten him a little bit with the spray, but I got myself more than I got him. So I'm here to tell you it does work. But anyway, I'll put all this information in the description below of where you can get this here in Cuenca. It's the only one place I know of, but I'm sure there's lots of places that you can buy it. But this is a real small hole in the wall place. It's close to Parque Calderon. I'd say it's about halfway between Parque Calderon and Parque San Sebastian. And if you know where the San Sebastian restaurant is in the San Sebastian Square, well, it's not, I won't call it square, in the park, there's a museum there, a long white building. If you just follow that building straight down the street, like you're going to Parque Calderon, about halfway to Parque Calderon, on the left-hand side, is this little hole-in-the-wall shop. And I'll show you, there's a picture here that you can see what it looks like. Good luck to you. Go If you want pie pepper spray, go buy it from her. Six, $6 for the spray, $5 for the little holster. And I got everything I need. So, from Cuenca, Ecuador, on a kind of cloudy day here. Thanks for watching. Ciao. I'm telling you, don't spray yourself. I don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it.